Hi guys, Liz here. I'm at Corvioli Beach. I think that's how you say it. Um, I like visiting here because uh, it's got a pretty wind light uh, and I just look so fresh and live and awake when I sit here. Unlike the real life me who just feels a little bit um, like something that um, has been dragged through the mud. A bit like Hagrid really. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling today. Um, yeah, I'm actually doing this um, dressed like this. Would you believe in the real world um, I've got a pair of white pants on and a little skimpy white top like this. You believe that? Oh my god, you need some help. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, so this is Coffee with Isa and um, this is my second one and I did when I did the first one I said to people, you know, um, feel free to ask me what you want to talk about or me to talk about. So, um, and I had a couple of suggestions, um, but before I start, now the first thing I've got to say on my last one I, I raved on around about Muller Light chocolate fixes and that I could have as many of them as I like go crazy because oh my god it satiated my chocolate appetite um, after four days of I'm telling you eating like three a day of those bad boys I finally got the app on my phone that tells me how much sim value is in each one of them Hey, no, no, you can't eat as many of them as you like. No, not at all. <laughs> and in actual fact, I might as well have been eating a Mars bar a day. Okay, the fact is that I might as well have eaten a Mars bar a day. And, um, yeah, uh, I made a big, big chocolate mistake there. <laughs> They're good, but you're only supposed to really have one maybe two if you want to just use all your sim value on them but you're not supposed to eat them unlimited like i thought i could do so uh, let's retract that good on a diet or on a healthy eating plan let's not use the word diet good on a healthy eating plan but in moderation just like everything else really <laughs> But apart from that, I'm going to give you an update. Uh, I've been really good this week. I have not climbed the walls at work. Mind you, that's probably because I've been shoving my face full of chocolate fixes. But no, that aside, I have been eating really good healthy things. I normally eat really good healthy things, but m more healthier than normal. And um, I've not climbed the walls at work. Oh, hang on, my phone. Sorry, sorry. Huh. What, what was that? I haven't got time. How dare people. Anyhow, I've been really good. I've managed to crack it so far. So let's say we're into my fifth day and um, I've learned a hard lesson. And that is, there is no quick fix for chocolate, okay? So um, that leads me on to um, what people suggested I talk about in Coffee with Isa. <laughs> now I've had a few people message me and I've actually gone, just talk about diets, Liz. <laughs> Okay, um, and then about 10 things about myself um, that people don't know, and um, or 10 facts, um, or a favourite quote or lyrics, which is what Miss Cherry suggested. Now, um, I don't know that I've got any favourite quotes or lyrics, actually, um, when I think about it. Um, oh, actually, yeah, I do. Um, this might be offensive to some people who don't like these words <laughs> but I'm gonna say it now whenever I'm really miserable I've got this one friend she sees me on the bus in the mornings and I have been miserable for six months now um, for various reasons I'll get on the bus and I'll either be really chirpy and do be doing my blog or I'll be sitting there you know like <laughs> and the one thing she always says to me uh, especially when I'm feeling a little bit tearful because yes I do get a bit tearful one thing she always says to me is Liz remember this and I'll go what her name's Jessica what Jessica and then she'll turn around and she'll say tits and teeth just remember tits and teeth <laughs> every time she says it it just makes me smile because I know exactly what she means push your push your chest forward open your mouth and smile and grin through it and I tell you what whenever I do that whenever that strikes me in the head and I just smile and my head sort of goes forward with my chest I actually feel so much better <laughs> just because I'm thinking of tits and teeth um, so I don't know if that'll work for you but if you're having a really bad day that's my one tip um, in today's blog vlog 
coffee <laughs> is remember tits and teeth. Okay, now um, 10 facts um, about me. Shall I do 10 facts about me? Okay, I'll do 10 facts about me. I can't, I can't um, think of too many quotes um, that I can quote apart from tits and teeth. Um, but 10 facts about me. Okay, the first fact is um, I look exactly, and I mean exactly, like my avatar. I kid you not. The a resemblance is absolutely uncanny. And when I walk through the street, people recognize me from a YouTube video and go, oh my God, it's Isabel. Oh my God, it's Isabel. It's Isabel Sharon. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I don't look anything like my Avatar. Well, um, some days I do. Like if I wear my wild curly hair, that is exactly me. Um, because in, in my real world, I do have wild curly hair. Um, I used to be a brunette and now I'm an in-between blonde and I'm going this sort of silvery grey thing because I'm doing this sort of toning silver grey thing on my hair at the moment. So I've got wild curly hair. Um, and th so that's one fact. The second fact is... I don't have blue eyes. I'm sorry. I know. I know you're looking at me going, what? But I actually don't have blue eyes. I, I have brown eyes. But um, considering um, the world of the virtual life is supposed to be about what we, what we would like, I would love to be blue eyed. I, do you know what? Since I was a young girl, I have always loved blue eyes. Um, and my ideal man, blue eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Brown eyes. Okay, just breathing. Just the pulse would be nice, actually. <laughs> oh, that's the third fact. The third fact is I am actually single. I'm single in my real world and I'm single in my virtual world. Um, so, um, why am I single? Probably because I'm a fussy bitch. <laughs> um, I think um, of anything, as you get older, you, you start to... Um, have certain things that you expect out of people um, and I actually don't expect uh, the world but I do expect a, a person to have a really good integrity good honesty uh, I hate lies one of the things I really really hate about humanity is lies little white lies um, to save someone's feelings they're a little bit different but when people lie uh, it's, it's it's like a no a no can do for me and I once I lose trust in something that's it um, you can't get that back from me. So once I catch you out in a lie, it's done. A relationship's done with me, and um, because all relationships to me are based on trust. Um, so that's that's another thing about me. Um, um, what else about me? Oh, let me think. Oh yeah, I'm five foot six. Yeah. Um, I could do with a few runs around the block. You know, as you get older too, you um, you tend to sort of like put on weight. Um, and you, you're not quite the same as you were when you were 21. And that really, really like, irks me because I feel 21 in my head. Seriously. I look in the mirror and I think, I'm 21. And then I, then I, then I walk and I think, no, I'm not. Um, I'm not. So which leads me to the next fact about me is um, I have fibromyalgia. Um, so, um, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's really weird because I don't. I look at myself and I think, nah, that's not possible. But about three years ago, I was diagnosed with it. Um, it happened around the time when I was um, I was really lethargic and um, I was having trouble sort of keeping awake. Um, and I went to the doctors and said about all these things, about these aches, pains and all that. But it was, um, they did all these blood tests and they did all these tests on me. But one of the th key things they found was I was really low in B12. So, um, because I was starting to forget things. I mean, simple little things. And um, it was a B12 deficiency. So now I'm on these injections, like for the rest of my life. Oh, great. <laughs> they hurt can I just tell you how much they hurt but fibromyalgia um, it's one of those um, if you're Australian you know what this means the Clayton's in, in Australia you have the Clayton's alcoholic drink which is the alcoholic drink you're drinking when you're not having it an alcoholic drink so non-alcoholic drink so I call fibromyalgia and I always have the Clayton's disease the disease you're having when you're not quite having one. Um, and I don't mean that in a dissing way because I actually have it, but I mean it in one of those ways where um, when you say to a doctor, exactly what is this, they can't quite tell you. <laughs> and that's what I said to my GP. I said, um, so what is this? Well, they don't know Liz. I'm like, well, how do you know I've got it? Well, because you you, you do the, you, you, you hurt here and you hurt there. And, and I'm like, but, 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 
but what is it? <laughs> and I still don't actually know what it is. But the way I see it, ah, I shove that to the back of my mind most of the time and I just crack on. And it's only at some stages when I'm having a little bit of a flare up that I actually go, oh God, <laughs> I ache. <laughs> but the rest of the time you wouldn't know. Um, and, I, and, and I've got the mindset that you don't give into anything. I give into nothing. <laughs> and that people find that painful in me um, with other things. But I really don't give into things. So um, I'm not very accepting of stu um, stuff that goes on. So if um, people tell me I need to take a medication or a drug, I'll take it for a little while and then I'll go, nah. Which is what I've done. I've just taken myself off everything because I just think, you know what, you can go through life um, numb to things or you could go through life feeling things and experiencing things. And I prefer to feel and experience, even if it is a little bit of pain. So... But with, in saying that, if I'm in extreme pain, of course I'm going to take something. I'm not, I'm not a martyr, <laughs> not at all. But so that's the other fact about me. Um, I do things that aren't necessarily good for me. <laughs> the other fact that I can tell you about me is that um, I, I, I take a size six shoe, but sometimes I take a five and a half. I don't understand that. I really don't. <laughs> it's like my feet have a weight loss program so one day my foot is feeling I'm gonna be a size six today I'm feeling fat but the next day it wakes up and says nah I'm feeling like a svelte five and a half go figure I really don't understand that so I in my cupboard I have shoes that are five and a half and six um, and it's not that my feet look any bigger <laughs> it's just that sometimes they just go on a diet <laughs> don't know what it's about but you know that's another fact about me um the other fact about me is I like cats um I have two ragdoll cats and um I'm telling you uh best best creatures on this earth cats absolutely love them but ragdolls even more specifically because they're um they're they're like dogs and my cats are like dogs well <laughs> they're as big as dogs now actually um one's called tippy and the other one's called bondi ah uh, there you go and uh, when i went to work i've got to i've got to tell you this when i went to work and i first got the cats as kittens they said to me oh what do you name them and i said oh tippy tippy after tippy Adrian, and bondi and this woman said that's a very strange name bondi where's that from and you know when you think uh australian bondi beach australian bondi beach she didn't quite put it together, but anyhow. <laughs> so I called him after the beach. Um, and every day I look at him, I just see a wave. <laughs> no, he he is, uh, honestly, he is the most amazing creature on this planet. Um, when I'm sad, when I'm feeling really low, he just stares at me. I, I, he is, it's like I can feel a love coming from him. Now, only animal lovers will understand this you know you your animal looks at you and they adore you so much and you can honestly feel the love and I can feel it from him although if I'm really honest it's because he wants some Sheba <laughs> and but we'll pretend it's love we'll just pretend that um, he's looking at me going I love you so much um, Tippy on the other hand she whines she is a true ragdoll so she will meow meow and throw herself in front of you and honestly the amount of times I nearly step on that cat is just amazing she she throws herself on the floor and she goes all limp and she just rolls around she's a bit of a, a whore of a cat really um, she's like really trying to sort of like entice you in and all this sort of thing and she's like purring and meow meow and you just think get out of my way <laughs> she just doesn't <laughs> But um, I absolutely adore them. I think they're the best things since sliced bread. Um, oh, yes, I'm a grandmother. Uh, th there's no secret to that. Um, I've shared that on my channel before and I've shared that on my blog. I am a grandmother. Um, yeah, many people got, look at me and think, not not on YouTube, they don't because they don't really know. But um, in real life, um, they find it hard to believe that I'm a grandmother. But I am. I'm old enough. I am. <laughs> my daughter's old enough to be a mother. And so she is. <laughs> Um, and she is the best mother on the planet. I have to say, she's, you know, when she first told me she was pregnant, I was just like, oh my God, Jesus God, I'm not ready for this. Oh my God. It was all about me. I have to tell you, it was all about me. And and then I was going through, I'm not having, I'm not being called grandmother. I'm not being called Nana. No, 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 no. Um, and I said to her, I want to be called Liz. And she just looked at me and went, F off. <laughs> That's what my daughter said to me. F off. No, you won't be called Liz. 
Um, so I considered it to grandma. So his name's Mason and he's just started speaking and he'll be two in July. And he goes, guama, guama. He also says the F word and the S-H-I-T word. Um, clearly not in the context they're meant because he like all little children hears you say something and and repeats it so um yeah uh slight embarrassment when he says it in company but um uh you know when he says that f word it's like is that a truck mason is that a truck (laughs) or are you stuck are you stuck so we just change the words or if he says the s-h-i-t word um it's, it's is that a ship (laughs) <laughs> and he kind of starts to repeat it back. So I've worked out um, he really doesn't understand what he's saying. And those are the two any naughty words. But everything else he says is really cute. Um, I am right rambling, but um, you ask for facts. So I'm giving you facts. <laughs> okay. And, and yes, he's, got, he's, going, he's growing up and he's learning glam-ma. Okay. Not grandma. Glam-ma. Uh, let's be sort of specifically clear here glamorous granny that is what i am a glamorous granny (laughs) i will never ever be (laughs) old i'm telling you that now i will never ever be old i'll always be glamorous (laughs) glamma and that's how it's going to be okay um i'm going to give you one more fact i'm just thinking which one i should give you um because I can't give you everything uh, and I, I won't give you everything because otherwise then you'll know me and then you'll stalk me and then you'll find me and then, oh my God, <laughs> my life's over. Ah. Um, oh yeah, I live on a lake, okay. I live in an apartment, um, which is, it, when you live in England, honestly, um, it's t- ad- taken me a long time to adjust to living over here because I'm from Australia and where, you know, the houses have land around them. <laughs> so you have a house, you have land around it. You, you look way down to the back of your garden trees <laughs> here you look out your window and you see next door neighbors living room window you know that kind of thing so anyhow i live in an apartment block and it is a bit of a nicer apartment block um and i moved in here about 13 years ago and it overlooks the lake and uh, it it kind of reminds me of back home because when i look out in the mornings there's water except the trees are growing so they're kind of blocking the view a little bit but um this is my one saving grace that when i come home at the end of the day uh i sit in my living room and i open those doors and that's all i see is the water and it's just the most beautiful thing um that i love it i absolutely love it um okay so again i'm at corvioli beach (laughs) because i'm rambling away and um yeah, this this coffee chats. Now I've had a few um, asks for how I pan um, on my videos and stuff like that. I'm no expert, seriously. <laughs> I really am no expert at this mission of my thing. I try my best, but I'm not. Um, but I have learned a little tip because I, I watch Wagner. I think his name's Wagner. <laughs> Wagner, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put a link to him below because I can't ever remember. But I, I, I looked on his blog one day and there was a, a tip on how to sort of smooth cam. So I, I learned that tip and I do it all the time now. Sometimes badly, sometimes I'm impressed with myself. Um, but I'm never that impressed with myself because um, I really have a lot to learn. And um, I do wish that I had one of those, those you know, those net space navigator mice because I do love how some videos are done and you know you're sort of panning in and you're swooping around I really want to be able to do that but hey um I do with what I've got at the moment and still I enjoy it it's fun um so but I, I'm not going to show it in this video but I I thought well I've been asked that a couple of times so I will do a little tutorial one uh, it'll be the list tutorial on how to do it when you really don't know what you're doing um okay um don't expect anything flashy don't expect anything great because um it won't be (laughs) it'll just be me going look i click this button oh look i do this um but if you're happy with that i'll do it (laughs) so i'm going to do it um and anything else that you want to see that i do i don't mind showing you um but just don't expect an all singing all dancing because it won't quite be you'll be you're going to sit there and go oh is that it (laughs) and frankly that would be it (laughs) um do i really drink coffee (sighs) no i drink lattes 
Um, I, I don't really like coffee unless it's coming, you know, those percolator things. And, and that's when I go to France, when I go and visit my friend in France. Um, I will drink coffee because she makes the meanest coffee. Um, but usually I'm a latte girl and it's a chai latte. So I will stop at Costa Coffee most mornings of the week on the way to work, except now that I'm on this healthy eating plan. Um, I can't. But I always stop and get a large soya chai latte. Yeah, you've got to try soya. I don't normally drink soya milk, but for the chai lattes I do, yeah, absolutely delicious. Um, so that's normally what I have. That's my sort of like um, drink of, you know, favorite and first thing in the morning. Um, I'm a big tea drinker. I'm not fussy about it, but I do like a PG tips. And I also do like um, Red Bush tea. Uh, so when I'm feeling a bit wired, because I can get a bit wired with too much caffeine, I go, Bleh! <laughs> so then I have a, um, a red bush tea uh, and it's normally a red bush tea I'm drinking when I'm at home in the evenings and I'm sitting on SL because if I wasn't drinking red bush tea and I was drinking something else <laughs> my typing would be worse and most people that talk to me in SL um, really have to decipher what I write because um, I'm rubbish really rubbish um, yeah my typing leaves a lot to be desired, I have to admit. Um, strangely, at work, it's perfect. At work, um, obviously because it has to be, um, I type really well. But for some reason in a chat situation, uh, Facebook, chat, <laughs> anything like that. And I think it's because I'm writing at the speed I'm thinking, whereas at work I'm writing to get it correct. Um, and I just type and it, and it's, it is, they call it typeanese. Um, I think it's Wang Tang Japanese. Uh, mine's a slightly bit different than everyone else's, I think. <laughs> you want to see me in text messaging. Oh, I love predictive text. Oh, man, I do say some interesting things to people. <laughs> and there's the, and this is <laughs> this is guy I often text. Um, and he always sends me funny texts. And I try and be witty back. Um, but my wit seems to get lost because when predictive text comes in, it says completely something else. Very embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm, I feel socially like I have to like suddenly go and block someone so they can't see me for a while. Um, and then I can resurface with my head held high. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I digress. I'm digressing. Um, so this is my second Coffee with Isa. Um, so I've given you a facts about myself or quite a few facts about myself and I've rambled. But... Um, for the questions about showing you how to do things I will I'll do them um, as a separate video and um, obviously if there is anything you want me to talk about I'll be happy to talk about it um, um, actually there is something I do want to talk about um, and I, I won't go into it in too much detail but I want to talk about SL what a wonderful world absolutely wonderful world there you go, see? <laughs> I've spoken about it. No, I, I actually would like to talk about SL relationships and um, I guess about um, how people lie because people do lie a lot in, in SL and, and I don't think it's such a shame. You, you either, when you meet people, you should um, be openly honest and say, I'm not going to talk about myself. I'm not, this is who I am in here and this is, this is as far as it goes. Or you go this is me, this is what I like, da, 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 da. But it's the people that just lie, that say one thing, but are something else. Um, and I've encountered quite a few of them um, in the last year. Um, I, it just amazes me. Um, if you lie in a pretend world, what kind of person does that make you in the real world? Is, is my sort of um, rationale. If you can lie outright like that like some people I've seen do and I'm, I'm talking not nice lies I'm not, I'm not talking about the, the, the you know who I am really and all that because you know people go in there they don't have to say who they are um, I'm not talking about that I'm talking about you know real lies like you know um, someone comes in and has like five avatars because they have five different women on each avatar um, that kind of thing um, it says a lot about a person um, that does that and it says a lot about what kind of person they might be in the real world and actually if I, I I did think about this because at work it came up about Facebook and about employers and stuff like that if I was an employer I'd stalk you on Facebook and then I go you're a liar and I wouldn't employ you okay <laughs> so I'm just putting it out there <laughs> don't lie 
never ever lie tell the truth truth the truth the truth is i don't want to tell you about me so what i am in here is it and that's what i mean about lying don't 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 lie to people it's not nice and it's it's hurtful to people um i've seen a few people hurt recently um by really terrible lies and and myself i've been hurt by lies as well and i just think um you know lies are quite destructive and the 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 many types of people that come into second life have different reasons which i've touched on before everyone has a different reason for coming in mine is just a, a stress and whatever but you know some people are ultimately extremely lonely in real life um housebound disabled um have real mental health problems in fact actually the mo- but majority population of the world i think has mental health problems let's face it we all have something <laughs> at one stage of our lives or another we all have something um and we are all at various stages of our lives vulnerable so but you might come across oh my goodness my computer's doing strange things you might come across someone who's at that vulnerable stage and by telling lies to that person and um deceiving them to a point that they believe you but nothing's true is actually quite a um awful thing to do to someone and and I have seen that done to someone and I don't I don't like seeing it I really don't like seeing it I just think it's it's um it's the measure of who you are if you do that and you're someone I wouldn't want to even know in the real world it's it's as simple as that um but anyhow uh, I'm digressing again but yeah it that was one of the topics I did want to talk about but I, I will go into that further in another coffee with Isa because I think it's a, it's it's a subject um, that's so expansive and so wide. Um, uh, uh, I'm not making sense now, so I will do it on another coffee with this. Probably when I come back from Scotland, not before. Um, I'm going to Scotland in a couple of weeks, so. Um, uh, I did think about doing my coffee with Isa in Scotland. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, and I did say to my friend, "Would you like to do this with me?" And he was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> But seriously, you'd want him to do it with me because he's um, got the most to die for. I'm um, seriously to die for soft Scottish accents. Oh my god, <laughs> he could read to me all night long, and it's the most soothing voice. So um, I might, I might see if I don't, I, could, I don't know. See, because I, um, his internet's rubbish. That's the one thing. And plus, the microphone I use is huge, and I don't really fancy carton with me i actually know they scrapped that idea i'm not going to do that <laughs> but if i do be prepared anyhow i'm going now and thank you for watching um none of this made sense i know absolutely none of it but that's the whole idea it's my coffee my break and if you want to watch it you watch it and if you don't you don't have to um have a nice day and if there is anything that you want to see you know how to find me and i did do a specific email address for this kind of thing um because I thought, you know, people don't like putting things in public. So, and I did do it and I did link it underneath my first video and I'll link it underneath here. Um, it is specifically only for this coffee with Isa. So if you're going to send me nude shots of yourself, dirty, whatever, I'll save it in another folder, okay? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, um, only send me about... The, the 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 video slot i'm not interested in anything else um and i always recommend that if you want to email people especially and 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 in the avatar world you you don't use your real email um i was hacked last year so i know all about this um and your skype don't use your real email skype create one specifically for this and don't accept files seriously i learned the hard way do not accept files pictures things like that from people that you have never met um i discovered guyzo so now if anyone wants to show me something i can go can you just guyzo that and i can see it i'm happy with that but don't send pictures of files and stuff like that um and just be careful um that's my other handy tip really be careful about the people that you share your information with because um seriously there are some absolute fruitcakes out there i've come across them too <laughs> anyhow um have a great great week and i will speak to you soon okay bye bye <laughs>